Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Merge NYC video. Today we're going to be doing another challenge, this time using Rescue 2 of the FDNY. So, for those of you who don't know, Rescue 2 is a heavy rescue in the borough of Brooklyn, city of New York, of course. And um, basically, it's like a toolbox on wheels. This thing has a bunch of different rescue equipment on it. But the challenge for today is to put out a fire using only rescue. That means no engines, no ladders, no hose lines, no hydrants, none of that stuff. All we really have is just the rescue. So we have to get creative with this thing. Now, um, on the rescue, we do have a water can and we also have a chemical extinguisher. Um, so we're going to try to use both of those to put out the fire. Now, I don't know what type of fire we're going to get, guys. Whatever we get, we are going to respond to it. I'm hoping we get something easy and we could put it out. But if you guys saw the last challenge video, that's not always the case. Um, we had two challenges so far. If you guys missed them, definitely go ahead and check them out. We had one where we tried to use a battalion chief and put out a fire with only using the chief. And then we had another one where we tried to put out a fire using an engine without using a hydrant. So check those out. I'll link them down below anyway let's go ahead and get this one started guys welcome to brooklyn rescue company 2 let's see what these guys are about all right so since time is of the essence guys i'm gonna just have my uniform on from now so that i'm just really ready to go as soon as the call drops so um basically same thing guys whatever comes in we're gonna take it and i'm gonna try to get to it as fast as possible i'm hoping it's just a nice easy fire today but the way everything's been going with these other challenges i'm sure we're gonna get like the hardest fire ever but if you guys do enjoy this make sure you guys hit that like button if you guys have any other suggestions of com of um challenges you guys would like to see me do make sure you leave it in the comment section down below so yeah let's see what we get guys Tent floor fire person trapped in the bathroom. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, wait. Okay, I thought I skipped it back. Alright, so this is a high rise fire, guys. In Brooklyn, a telephone on the box 8184, the address 180 Troy Avenue. St. John's Place to Burgage Street, reporting a fire. 10 boy with baby on the windows. Baby's out the windows. We actually have a chance here guys because we are right here so the fire may not have spread too much yet so we're gonna grab our water can hold that we're gonna grab our extinguisher hold that it would be beautiful if it duplicated it and gave us some extras right now all right let's get up there so fire is gonna be on the 10th floor I completely went the wrong way Pour the babies out the window too. Oh boy! All right, let's try to get up these stairs as fast as possible. Come on! Come on! Come on! All right, tenth floor. So what I did was I left all my tools here. Baby, alrighty, we are in here. Now, we do have a report of somebody trapped in here, too, guys. So let's see if we can get them out first. Oh, I got him. Got you, sir. Alright. See if I can get him out of here now. Can is out. Did he just go down? He did. I don't know. Alright, let's get him out of here. Oh, run, 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 run. Woo! Alright, let's get him to the floor below. These places are fireproof, so we'll get him here so he can be transported to the CFRD engine and then they'll work on getting him to safety. And we'll get back up there and try to put out the rest of this fire. So 
order can is now out. All we got is the extinguisher. Alright, let's make it happen, guys. Our health is pretty bad here. I gotta be like aggressive or else this fire is just not gonna go out. Damn it. Ah, boy. Why am I giving myself these hard ass challenges? <laughs> All right, so this was a fail, guys. We were not able to put the fire out. We did rescue the person though, but we were not able to put the fire out without a hose line. So I think what we're going to need, um, we're gonna need some more equipment. So let's get rescue two again, and then we'll come with another set of uh, water cans and extinguishers, and we'll try to put the fire out. train horns on this thing too. In real life too, it's so crazy. It's these blue horns right up there if you guys see them. Alright, so same game plan guys. Alright guys, we made it back to the fire floor. Alright, let's get in there. I keep holstering everything by accident, pressing the wrong buttons. Alright. Oh, shoot. It would be nice if I did that right. Come on, just go out with a little blast of order. Come on, come on. Oh my god, this is done again. Alright, oh my goodness, the whole apartment's up. There's no way we're getting this out. Alright, so I guess the updated challenge is how many trips do you guys think it's going to take us to put this fire out? Right now we're on our second trip. So leave a comment. How many trips? I think we may need one more trip. Maybe two. So that will be four in total. I don't know. Maybe if I could do some really good hits here. Oh, okay. That's all. Alright, so yeah. This is becoming very difficult, guys. We still have about half an apartment left, so we're going to try this one more time. First water can sounds like a plan. Hands out. 
Uh, so to the water extinguisher, I mean the fire extinguisher. Oh my god, it's gonna be so close. I'm gonna need one more, I think. Three trips? Three trips with the rescue company? I'm okay with that. So we used three water cans and three extinguishers and we got the fire out. So the answer is yes, the rescue can put out the fire <laughs> without uh, um engine or truck behind them. That is awesome now. I'm not sure how many water cans they hold in real life. I think they hold more than one though. I'm pretty sure it's more than one. but. Um, six would be kind of pushing it in real life, but that would mean like every rescue member would be coming out with their own can, which would be nice, but I don't think they have that much in real life, so I'm thinking in real life they probably have like two to three and then maybe like one extinguisher or so, I don't know, but we got the job done guys, we got the fire out, that's all that matters. So I would say that is a successful challenge, I think we beat it, let me know if you guys think we beat it. You guys think we did a good job? We also rescued this guy as well. <laughs> he's a uh, he's a little hurt, but he's gonna be okay. So let's get him out of here. Now, realistically, you know, it'll be more people here, so they would have already took care of him. But sorry, sorry, I kind of feel bad for doing this challenge. I should have just saved you. I think there's a medic bag on here somewhere too. I don't know. But that's going to do it for this one, guys. I would say that is another successful challenge. Again, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Did we do a good job? If you think we did, make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button. Leave some comments down below. Subscribe if you are new and you want to see some more of these challenges. Also, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. And if you guys have any other suggestions for um, video ideas, whether it be challenges or just regular videos, let me know down below in the comment section. So thank you guys so much for watching. Really I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.